Good afternoon everybody, my name is Michelle, I'm the founder of Eternal Being. I'm here today as requested um, from you people out there in this dark time of Corona-19, but there's lots of ways to cheer yourself up and to have healthy food whilst you're at it. So today we are going to be doing a chilli nut surprise. It's a great snack, um, it's great for, for the kids, unless there's a nut allergy in the house, so do refrain from having this recipe today. I am over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be showing some alternative nut free snack ideas as well. So what do we have? We have got um, 10 grams of um, pumpkin seeds, 10 grams of sunflower seeds, five grams of chai seeds. You can put in more chai seeds, but chai seeds do have a bit of a taste, so it's a real individual thing. Then my glamorous assistant over here, who's my daughter, Choni Sen, she's helped me today, she's my sous chef, and she's put together 200 grams of a mixture of nuts in there. So do you want to tell everybody out there what you've put in there, Choni? Pistachios, hazelnuts, and walnuts. That's it, that's perfect. So you put as many as you what you want in there, as long as it meets 200 grams, that's perfect. Then we have 200 grams of cashews and 200 grams of almonds. That's it, that's perfect, Tiona. We've got one and a half teaspoons of mild chilli powder. We've got half a teaspoon of fresh cumin. We've got one lime squeezed into a little shot glass there and then we've also got two tablespoons of avocado oil with some fresh chili in there now we've got our own fresh chili in our house and again it's something i'm going to be showing over the next couple of weeks of making your own fresh chili oil as you can see but if you don't have something like that at home you just need to put a handful of chili chili flakes in there and then We've also got some beautiful green coriander, as you can see. Now, my children in my house prefer a little bit less coriander. If it was my choice, I'd have a massive big handful. So you just put as much as you want to in there. Chop it up nice and um, finely. And that is it. It's nice and simple, as you can see. Really easy to do. The same with the nuts as well. You know, you can get your kids involved in this. Um, she only handpicked all the pistachios and so on there. It took some time, but she did it. So we're going to put it together. So grab yourself a bowl and make sure that you've got certain utensils out there. The chopping and that I did myself, but if you've got older children in the house, you can do that after uh, with supervision. You also need to get your cooker um, ready. So basically, it depends on if you've got electric or gas. I prefer gas because I burn everything with electric. So if it is a gas, you have it at gas mark five. If it's electric, it's 190. So let's put this together. So first of all, Chioni, if you can pass me um, the first set there. So we've got the almonds. That's it. So we just grab it in there and put in. And if I give you that, Chioni, if you place that over to one side for me. So if you can see, and then we've got the cashews. So remember it's 200 grams of each. There you go. And then just mix it around. So they're all mixed up and then we've got a combination of what we've got in there again Shona? Pistachios, walnuts and hazelnuts. That's it, perfect. And then mix it together. And you really get them mixed in as you can see there. I've got my glamorous assistant down here, Loki as well. <laughs> And then if you want to grab these sunflower seeds there for me, Chione, so I can pour those in. And again, mix them all in. Look, look how beautiful that looks. I mean, you can just eat it as it is right now, but when we put the bonus section in there, when it goes in the oven, wow, the smells that you smell coming out. So if we grab the sunflower seeds now, sorry, pumpkin seeds. There you go, thank you. And mix them all in. Again, with the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds, you can put more of those in if you want to put less nuts in. Um, but my kids really like the nuts. Then we grab the chai seeds. Thank you. And then what I like to do is then I like to grab the spices in now. So remember, we've got here 
We've got the mild chili powder, so we've got one and a half teaspoons of that. And just, if it comes out, <laughs> there you go. Oh, I've got a little bit missing there. Get it all in. <laughs> now, don't be scared that this is going to be too hot. It's not at all. It just has a lovely, lovely, lovely beat in there. And you can see the colours coming together. Then, if I can have the cumarin, please, Chony. And we've go. got half a teaspoon of the cumarin. Thank you. You're welcome. And mix that all together. And one of my favourite ingredients, the two ingredients that I love loads, are the pumpkin seeds, the lime, and the coriander. <laughs> oh, have a smell. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, you have a smell as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, when you start smelling that smell, that starts to get the digestive enzymes working in your mouth straight away. So it gets you ready for digestion. A bit like when you smell bread in the house or when you're at a bakery and all of a sudden you get these moisture in your mouth. That's the first start of digestion. Rest and digest. Parasympathetic nerve system. So, Cherny, if you can pass me the line now for me. So... That, how much was in there, Chani? Can you remember? A whole line. That's perfect. So we just pour that equal consistency over the top there. It smells delicious. And mix it all in. And then if I can have the avocado oil. So remember you've got a handful of chilli flakes in there or if you've got your own homemade chilli oil, like I say, I'm going to be doing this again in the further weeks and teaching you how to do it. It's so easy and so not expensive as well. And as you can see, get it all out of there. And how much was in there, Tioni, again? Can you remember? Uh, Had a bit of a block. Two tablespoons of avocado oil. Yeah. yeah. And one tablespoon of chilli oil. Chilli flakes, there you go. Or oil, depending on what you've got. So we can mix all that together. You can see the consistency. Make sure it really covers with the oil and the lime there. Because this will help with the cooking process when it goes on the baking tray. And Chioni's already done pre-done for me before. Um, and Chioni, if you want to show a baking tray with some greaseproof paper on there. I've got another helper now. <laughs> with the <a> dog. <laughs> Even she's coming in to smell what's going on. <laughs> Low keys passed out. <laughs> so. Chioni, if I can pass you that. Yep. That's perfect. Really mix it over. And then can I have the uh, coriander there, Chione? Yeah. Thank you. So pour that in. Get it all out. And we've already washed our hands before pre doing this. <laughs> you see the beautiful consistency that we've got right now. It smells yummy. Then we've got the baking tray that we've already pre-done. Please pre paper over the top of it. We've got quite a large baking tin because it fits really nicely in our oven to slide in, but you can have a smaller one. Thank you. You're welcome. So then just pour the consistency equally on the baking tray. Making me feel hungry. We'll be having some in a minute. <laughs> and if you're liking what we're doing, please put a like on it. Any requests of any nature of food, we can do it for you. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll see all our local um, resources that we're saying for different shops and so on. I've got all of these ingredients from my local um, corner shop. So, you know support the local. It looks delicious. So as you can see, spread it out nice and evenly.
and you'll see further videos on our YouTube channel. You can go onto our Facebook and subscribe there, or you can go straight onto YouTube to the Pooh Fairy, and you'll see mm -hmm. everything is to do with digestion that I do. There you go, Cheney, if you could do that. So the cooker's already been on, so I'm just going to open that up now. Let adult do this. I'm just going to show you that consistency again. And place in the oven. Now, depending on if you've got gas or electric, if you've got um, gas, check it every couple of minutes to, and literally toss it over with one of your wooden spoons or a spatula. If you've got electric, just monitor it. It'll take anything up to five to ten minutes to cook. That's it. And that's all it takes. Real simple snack, really healthy and nutritious. So we'll see you shortly whilst it's been cooked and we'll show you the end result. Hello everybody, we're back again. So our nuts are nice and cooked now. So you should have checked them every couple of minutes. Remember it's different if you've got electric and it's different if you've got gas. So anything up to five to 10 minutes, depending on how quickly your oven heats up. Remember 190 for electric and for gas, it is number five. So basically they smell really gorgeous. We've, we've been tossing them over, haven't we, Chione? Yeah. So I'm just gonna open the cooker, make sure an adult does this. So I'm just gonna get them out. You can have a look, look at those. Oh, they smell yummy. And then we close the oven, obviously, but we'll then turn your oven off. So we need to um, get them on this is what Choni's put out, haven't you, Choni? What yeah. we put out on there? A cooling rack. Cooling rack. So this is quite tricky, guys. So the easiest way to do it is put it together into four. You might lose a couple of nuts along the way. That's all right. I'm, I'm sure there'll be somebody that wants to pick them up when the tray's cooled down and place them on the rack. and then just spread them out evenly again. The reason for this is, is basically the cashew nuts just need that little bit longer to cool down because they hold a lot of moisture inside them. So we want them to dry out. And I like to leave them for at least five minutes. So finish, chili nut surprise. Smells absolutely yummy. And there's different ways that you can present it, obviously on a plate like we have. But you know, this will last you for the whole week. And this is just a little bit of what the volume is that we've got left of the nut surprise. You can put them in jars, as seen, or you can put them in a little bowl and just nibble throughout the day. And um, remember not to have too much because again, it's about fat content, but you're getting the right source of protein here. It's great for those pre um, pre-workouts when you're feeling the energy levels have gone low but also after a post-workout as well especially if you've been doing weights and weight training at home so give it a go and if you really like what we do please subscribe and like us through our Facebook page Eternal Being and we've also got a YouTube channel as well to subscribe to as well we're going to be coming through for further weeks with lots of different alternative food ideas and we look forward to seeing you then